Hi, this is Alex Palt, and uh, actually this is a little bit of an impromptu video, but I just got this briefing from a dear friend of mine, Jeff Shepard. Hi, Jeff. Alex, hi. Good to see you. Nice to see you, my friend. And I thought it was so important that um, I had to make a quick video for you all. Uh, Jeff is with a company called Evercell, and they've come out with this incredibly, incredibly interesting, I would almost call it revolutionary energy harvesting device, but I'll let Jeff describe it. Go ahead and give us a little bit of a demonstration, Jeff. I'd be happy to, yes. Let me show you our, our demo unit here. It's operating, producing about a quarter of a volt with no perceptible temperature differential from one side to the other. So this is a completely new way of harvesting thermal energy. It's just sitting there. It's just sitting there on the table. And, and what makes it work is that at the atomic scale at which this device is built, it's angstroms thick in, in terms of thickness, there is a temperature differential, but it's not perceptible to us. So we've developed a new way using nanotechnology and advanced materials and a passive device structure that harvests meaning, meaningful amounts of thermal energy just sitting in, in any environment. You can embed this in concrete and it will harvest thermal energy. Now, um, we saw the voltage, what's the current output? Well, let's say a typical device that we would manufacture would produce tens of microwatts five to ten to twenty microwatts of usable power. Well, and that's a, that's a, we're actually at a usable level because um, I believe you pointed it out when we were talking about before the conversation. Uh, that's a pacemaker, a modern pacemaker. Yes, from what I know, the ten microwatts will, will power a, a modern pacemaker, the next generation. Well, it'll definitely power an IoT uh, sensor. Well, and that, of course, that was our initial target, was looking at IoT sensors, uh, in, particularly in difficult environments. And this addresses that need. And it also is completely non-toxic. The materials in here are very simple, basic materials. There's no electroactive materials. Uh, there's nothing uh, hazardous, as you would have in a battery. So this can actually replace batteries and eliminate the hazardous waste. Very cool. Now, um, where, what's step two for you guys now? You've, you've, you're here and you're showing this concept. You've got this in production in uh, prototype quantities. When are we going to actually start seeing the devices available? Well, we would expect to have commercial prototypes at the end of this year, working with partner companies to develop prototypes to their specific application needs. And then because this can actually be manufactured in existing fabs, there's nothing particularly magic about it. It's a nanotechnology. It requires ALD or sputtering equipment to make. So we would expect our partner companies to start manufacturing these in high volume at the end of next year. Very nice, Jeff. Um, what's the URL? Is there some place they can go to get information? Yes, thefacecompanies.com. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jeff, at this you know, really busy show to give us a little dog and pony on this really cool technology. Oh, my pleasure. I appreciate your interest. Thanks, Alex.